hope everybody's doing great. Today I got quite a few um, like summer and spring nail polishes that I wanted to share with you. I have not been in the mood because it's nonstop raining here in Oregon, but I am excited to break these out. The sun should be coming any day now. And I've got a small order from Rogue. I've got my polish pickup orders from the last couple of months and from um, Hella Handmade Creations. I hope you enjoy. All right, we'll start with what I am wearing in the video. And this is Kraken's Wrath from Cuticula. So it's another um, polish that I got from their um, Shattered Fantasy II collection. I love everything I got from that collection. Oh my gosh. Anyways, so I placed an order, my first order from Rogue um, from their actual website. I did previously purchase a Rogue polish, but through Cuticula, it was the sh a part of a Shift Happens duo. So this is my first order from them. I knew I would love them. I love flaky polishes and everybody says amazing things about Rogue's flaky polishes. So I watched uh, Caitlin Swatches and she goes into more depth about the obviously she got it in PR but um I know it was based on for my memory it was based on Alice in Wonderland but when I looked at the bottles right now it does say the golden afternoon collection but I guess that's the name of the collection but it was based on Alice in Wonderland and also some more information if you are interested in it a couple of these polishes um we're like maybe a 2.0 if that's what you want to call it. It doesn't say 2.0 on the bottle, but like like this one right here is called Month of June. I feel like Caitlin Swatches was saying that this was like a redone polish from a brand that Rogue used to be a part of before she was Rogue. Anyways, if you want more information, Caitlin Swatches has all that for you. So let's get into what I got. So I wanted a couple from that collection. And since, like I said, I haven't ordered anything from Rogue, I was just going through, you know, the polishes there. And there were a few that I wanted, but they were not in stock. So I just picked up two other ones. So this first one, I didn't, I don't have a swatch for it. It is Batsy. It's just a black flake top coat. I want to say flat, black flake taco, right? Because Hollow Taco just came out with their flake top coat. So I have had this for a couple weeks. So I've had this, you know, maybe even for a few weeks before Hollow Taco came out with theirs. Um, and it is different. So I didn't, I don't have a swatch for my nails, but it's right here on these two silver polishes. It's um, smaller, if that's um, like, smaller particles than the one from Holo Taco. It looks like Holo Taco has some small particles in it, but also bigger flakes as well. But I feel like I'm very happy with this one. You know, no excuse, no, I don't need any excuses to buy extra nail polish. I haven't even used this one yet. And I was excited to have a flake, a flaky topper. That was too many flake words. <laughs> okay. The next one is I Put a Spell on You. It's a creamy forest green with orange glass and black metallic flakes. This one, oh my gosh, it was so gorgeous. I won't be wearing this one for a little while. I feel like I got a lot of bright type of um, greenish, bluish colors. This one to me felt more like fall and it was obviously I Put a Spell on You. So it was part of the frightfully fun Imagineering collection. So obviously it's a Halloween collection, but it was beautiful. It was in stock. So I just threw it on the order. But um, this one, the it, it was more of a consistency that I'm used to. Can I get these words out? This one went on really easy. Two coats to get completely opaque. The um, There was plenty of base coloring. So I wasn't, uh, I guess you'll understand more when I get to this nail polish about what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> but it had, the base was dark enough and then plus all those flakes, I was able to get this um, opaque easily in two coats and those glass flakes in there were absolutely beautiful. And then also, I don't say enough. So I always, on all my swatches, I always use Sweet and Sours 
top coat. I love their top coat. It's super thick and all, well, not in a bad way, thick in a great way, easy to work with. Um, but they have a four ounce refill and that's what I bought during Black Friday. So I love Sweet and Sour's top coat and I also love Glisten and Glow's top coat, but I do wanna say in all my videos, I don't always mention it, but I always do use Sweet and Sour top coat. Okay, the next one is Dog and Caterpillars, a teal curly with glowing green glass and metallic flakes. Okay, so this one, was a slightly different um, than this one I was talking about. So this one had a deeper base coat. So I used the base coat to help with the opacity. This one, the base coat was a little bit thinner or less opaque. So I needed to use more of the flakies to actually get a completely opaque with zero bald spots. And there was plenty, it was jam packed with flakies in there. But for this one, I did just need to wiggle the brush around, so not in a bad way, not in a hard way, it's just a different type of technique because there's just so many flakes that come out on the brush, so I um, just wiggled the brush around a little bit side to side to get those flakes to lay flat, and doing that technique, maybe be able to get completely opacity, com get complete opacity, <laughs> and just two coats. So it was still super easy, but it's just something to be mindful when there's that many flakes in a nail polish. And then also, um, it is, when there's that many flakes on, in there, it does wanna you know soak up your top coat. So I use a glitter grabber or glitter smoother and then um, my top coat on that. Okay, the next one is Month of June, a pale aqua curly with small copper bronze, ultra chameleon chrome flakes, and lightly scattered hollow sparkle. Okay, so this one um, was quite different than the other ones. There's not as many flakes in there. So this one only took two coats to get completely opaque. It was super pretty and dainty. The only thing I'd say about this one is the um, the flakes in there. Okay, I this is the first time I've came across a nail polish that this happened to. It's not that it's bad, it was just different. So all the like flakes in there um, clumped together. Okay, not all, that was extreme. So some of the flakes in there kind of clumped together. And so when I was, it was looking like it wanted to, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if it wasn't shaken up good enough. Now I shook it up good enough because I'm obsessed with that type of thing. So I'm always shaking up my polish, but I don't know if it like got mixed good enough or something, but it's not in a bad way and it could just be my bottle. I did actually, I was confused by it. So I did actually grab my like cleanup brush and get a piece of that clump and then wipe it on my napkin and it did smear this beautiful, <laughs> like flaky, iridescent, chromey, all the beautiful words. So it is like that gorgeous flake she mixed mixed in there, kind of just wanted to clump together. So I just thought I'd mention that, it wasn't a big deal. This was absolutely a beautiful polish and it was, you know, ex even though it's another blue polish, but it's just so like dainty, if that's the right word, you know, pretty easy to wear, something that you're not gonna, um, you know, you know, you don't always want to wear something that's glowing off your nails, but you still want to be cutesy and it's spring. So I thought this was absolutely perfect for spring, but I've just never seen that happen in any nail polish before. So I thought I'd mention. The next one is Dandelions, a pale yellow curly with gold and orange glass flakes and black metallic flakes. So this one was so easy to work with. This was another one that was jam packed with flakes so, and it only took me two coats to get opaque. And um, this one was so, it was so pretty and perfect for spring that, and I was really surprised with this being a yellow, I was so surprised about how easily it got opaque, but I guess it's because there's so many flakes in there 
So this is another one. I did also use a glitter grabber because it did want to drink up all my top coat. So I did use a glitter grabber and my sweet and sour top coat. And I am happy with this nail polish. Overall, it's beautiful. The Those flakes just catch the light so easily. But I am going to, when I wear it, I am going to try it over. This is sweet and sour's, um, what do they call it? It's the color is beige, but they call it blur sauce. So this is one of their base coats um, that gets a little more opaque than just your t traditional like ridge filling base coat. So I felt like this might kick this up a notch, you know, just because my skin is so light. I think if you have darker skin, this is going to really pop off your nail and like I said those flakes catch all the light it's just um I want to see if I can uh, just a touch deepen up the polish but no regrets it's beautiful I don't have very many yellows and it's springtime so I need something cutesy to wear <laughs> all right the next few are from polish pickup over the last couple months so this one was from Polish, Polish for Days. It's Soft Focus Peach Fuzz. It's just a tinted base coat. I'm slowly collecting these as I'm ordering from different companies. If they offer them, I'll just pick one up here and there. I just feel like it's an easy, you know, base coat if you're not happy with the coverage on a certain nail polish. The next one is also from Polish for Days. It's rarest of them all. It's a peachy nude base with a sunset shimmer. Shifting Coral Gold Yellow Iridescent Shifting Shimmer. All right. So this is like the matching pair. So I couldn't help it but to pick this up. This was, you know, pretty opaque in only two coats. There was so much shimmer in there. For me, when I see shimmer polishes, like on sw in swatches and on other people, it's so, so pretty. I gravitate towards them, but it's... She, shimmers are not my thing and definitely not shears I'm, I definitely don't like sheer polish but shimmers just seem so pretty um so I picked them up here and there is this my favorite no but that's because of my my opinion nothing's wrong with the nail polish and it's really light you know it matches my skin tone so it didn't uh blow me away but it was cute and I knew what I was getting into when I picked this out I knew it was risky for me but it's still cute. This one is also um, from Polish Pickup. This one's Red Eyed Lacquer Wilson. It's a pale sky blue crilly with black flakes and red, orange, gold shifting flakes. This one is, if I didn't say it already, February was Wild Animals. And uh, this one was so cute. I did three coats. I was really in love with this light blue like crilly and those like pinky orangey flakes just glowing through that light polish. I really, really like this one. This was one of the ones that I'm like waiting for the sun to come out because I want to wear this color so bad. These like pinky coppery iridescent um, flakes are really exciting me for the spring and summer. The next one's another one from Polish Pickup. It's Rogue Aim High. It's a cream colored base with uh, red, copper, chrome flakes, and orange, gold, glass flakes. This one is so different than any other flake polishes I have. Those chrome, coppery flakes in there just hit the light so easily that I'm really into that coppery flakes. But in this uh, creamy base, it's just so different than anything I had. I, I could not resist this polish. So... You definitely could get it opaque in two coats, but there was the tiniest little bald spots here and there that I created because, you know, the base is super creamy and then I was pushing the flakes around a little too much. So I did go in for a very slight third coat, but I really think, you know, if that is your goal for two coats, I think, you know, with, there's so much flakes in there and the, the creamy base was pretty opaque. I think you could definitely do it in two coats. But you know me, I don't mind a third coat. But this polish was, those flakes in there were just, I'm in love with them. I just cannot, this is another one. Well, a lot of these colors I'm super excited to wear as soon as the sun starts coming out. It's supposed to come out this weekend. 
<laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> this next one is from Hella Handmade Creations. It's Alchemy Land of Lava. It's a medium gray Crelly polish with black metallic flakes, red to orange to gold to green shifting shimmer, and iridescent flakes. So this polish, I was ready for it to be um, more light. I don't know if I didn't remember it correctly. Like I thought it was gonna be, what's the word I'm looking for? More sheer. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be sheer, but it actually went on pretty dark. I only needed two coats for this. And it, I feel like it might have even dried a little bit darker than in the bottle, but it's beautiful. I'm definitely happy to have it, no regrets. It is just a tiny bit darker than I thought it was gonna be, but it has the um, those pink, pinky, coppery, not copy, but pinky. What are they, what does it actually have? It said red, orange, and gold. But either way, it's giving me that same look as a couple of these other polishes are really getting me excited about the summer. It just was a touch darker, but I think that don't matter. I'm, sh you know, I love dark nail polish, so I'm still gonna fit it in somewhere during the spring and summer. The next one is Pretty Poison. It's a pink orange color shifting iridescent flakes and a red metallic flake in a mossy green jelly base. Okay, so this one I got from their website it was meant for, <laughs> I drew a blank, but I do have it right here, hold on. <laughs> it, it was January, January's polish pickup for deadly plants. So when I went on their website, I seen this there for 50% off, it was $6. And it said that they didn't release it for Polish pickup because their people reported staining, which I've heard a few people report staining. So I'm not, sh I thought, wow, it must be really bad. But you know, I don't care about staining. My nails are yellow. I don't care if they're stained. So this color, you know, th those copper flakes, man, as soon as I seen the copper flakes and that green jelly base, I didn't care. But in the, um, my swatches here, I did two coats. And so I have this other polish that I can't remember the name of it, but it's from Bees Knees and it's super, super pigment, pigmented blue. Let me rearrange those words. It is very blue pigmented. <laughs> oh my God. You know what I'm saying? So I swatched that nail polish and as soon as I took it off, my whole nail was blue. Now I'm not mad at it. I love that nail polish and I don't care. But I did expect this, that to happen to this because of the warning, because she pulled it from polish pickup. But none of that happened. I did only swatch it. You know, I just had it on, took some pictures and took it off. But like I said, that's all I did with the other nail polish and it stained my nails blue. So all that to say, if you're on Painted Polish's website and you see this nail polish, I think you should get it. It didn't stain my nails, <laughs> but either way, I guess if you're worried about staining, maybe don't get it, but it's beautiful. And it only took two coats. I thought because the description says it's a jelly, not like a crelly. I thought it was gonna take three coats to get opaque. And all my painted polish polishes take only two coats, but I thought this is gonna be the one that takes three, but no, it only took two. But I was really careful because of the staining, you know how the staining can get like into your um, cuticles and that does bug me, which is why I always do the soak off method because when you have your cotton on there and your clamps on there and then you grab your cotton and just pull it down, everything comes off. So I don't like my cuticles to be stained. So I was very, um, while I was painting, I was slower, more methodical. I didn't want to have as much cleanup because I didn't want to stain my cuticles, but I am reporting no staining, <laughs> but don't trust me. Cause I did only swatch it. I haven't wore it yet, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's $6 it was worth every penny. And honestly, I love it so much. If I seen it on polish pickup, this would have been a color I would have picked up. Absolutely no question. Okay, that was a lot of nail polishes. 
I started getting like a loosey goosey the last couple ones. So either way, I hope it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.